Welcome to all my gang members. Today I am going to teach you how to write a letter. But before I start to teach you how to write a letter, I would like to tell you a short story. You know, I, my uncle immigrated to Canada 35 years ago. And I still, still remember that he used to call once a month to my grandparents. And that also used to talk only for a few minutes because it was super costly. At that time, the main mode of communication or the main mode of uh, talking to each other was letter. Uh, he used to write letter regularly. Even they used to write letter to him regularly. I remember that for uh, when my uncle met my grandma after five years for the first time, they both hugged each other and cried, cried for straight five minutes. That was the love and affection. Whereas on the other hand, let me tell you, I just called my mother a few minutes ago and we did the FaceTime. And you know what the first thing she said? Oh, she said, Manoj, you badly need a haircut. And I'm like, come on, mom. I know, I know, it's a quarantine. I tried to cut them myself, guys, but you know, <laughs> I got afraid and then I stopped. So getting back, letter is a form of writing which has dominated the mode of communication of humans over centuries since before since let's say like 15 years ago letter writing was made more of communication and letter now if we think that letter writing is gone it will not be there in a few years it's wrong there are many different forms of letter writing email writing official letters they are still going to be a thing and we must learn how to write a letter to improve our communication skills, improve our writing skills. Letter can be of two types, formal letter and informal letter. Formal letter is written for official purpose, whereas it can be just a small message, whereas informal letter is just like our emotions written by our heart and, and, and buried inside an envelope. So with that, you know, a student, Kavya, you know, in the spring break, I asked her to write me a letter about her spring break. And it's now we are having a summer break and she hasn't sent me any letter, just one emoji. And every time she lets me know that I look like a homeless person. <laughs> With that, um, as you can see that letter uh, and before we start, right, you can see that the spelling is wrong. Yeah, even I noticed that the spelling is wrong. But you know what guys, I want to say you something. I, if I wanted, I would have changed this, right? I would have improved it. But my student, Jinal, has worked really hard in making this. And you know what, mistakes are there. Mistakes are to be made. And it, classroom is the only place where you make mistakes, right? And so that we improve. Yes or no? So it's good to make mistakes. And we must know our mistake, recognize it, work with it, work on it. That was just a knowledge hook in between. So now coming back to our topic, letters are of two types. The first letter is a letter can be as a formal letter. A formal letter can be written as like a formal letter can be divided into two parts, unknown and known. Now coming back to the theory of letter, letter according to whom you want to write, whom are you writing are of two types formal letter and informal letter first we talk about formal letter formal letter are written with a short message but to a particular person whom you kind of know or you might know them or you might not know them but the thing is that you have a distance with them right like let's say an authority let's say you are writing a letter to your boss you are writing a letter to your teacher you are writing a letter to your uh, premier your mayor right or you're complaining to police officer you're complaining to anybody so that you are creating a maintenance you are creating a distance that still you want to convey a message to them so it needs to be short and sweet that is a formal letter formal letter can be written to a known person as a form of complaint suggestion or inquiry or else it can be known written to a boss teacher or a celebrity but that should be with a message it has subject it has a different kind of body 
this video we will focus much more on informal letter i'll make another part for the formal letter informal letter like i said previously it's all you are writing it to a known person you are writing writing to someone that you know very well that message is kind of an expression you want to tell something but not just one thing you want to tell a lot of thing together right you have message you have not even just one message you have multiple points or multiple message which focuses to on single message oh it might be confusing to you guys what i am talking about we will we will come to the topic when we will discuss much about them but in short if i want to say informal letter informal letter is about writing to a known person let's say your grandma your mom or dad or your brother or sister cousin back home somewhere else and there from there you have to write on a topic let's say right now you are writing somebody how to take care at time of covid-19 right so that point is one covid-19 but you are writing it to a loved one so there might be multiple points that you want to cover but on the other hand let's say you want to take a leave at your work and then you write a letter okay he doesn't have to know your boss doesn't have to know that your uh, mom is sick or your dog is sick or your uh, wife did something to you nobody cares right you just have to know that he have to take a leave so there is a difference between a formal and an informal letter in this presentation i what i am going to do i will explain a little bit about the format of informal letter i have already made a video previously for my students about a letter with an example so in this after my presentation you will have a short you will have a clip with an example where i explain perfectly with points with everything how to write a letter let me know if you like it or not now before i move on to the format of letter writing i would like to give a short disclaimer that is that the right i have focused more about how to write in the body in my example clip that you will see further i uh, the format of letter varies from teacher to teacher from institute to institute from country to country many way when i started writing well when i started studying you know pluto was still a planet so that's some other case but when i started letter was written here now some of them right here i think my students also like they say that no sir we, we are taught like this but i know i know it can be on right side the address can be written here there can be multiple addresses there can be dates are written dates might not be written in letter so i'll stick to one standard format and if you guys want you it is okay to follow this format but if your or school teaches you the other format go ahead with that and um, meanwhile learn how to write inside the body how to structure how to make a structure of your letter that is much more important make the balloon the thinking balloon that i'll show you that is much more important but with that let us start with the standard format of how to write a letter so first of all in an informal letter specifically we have here we have the senders like i let's say i am sending to my grandmother a letter and back home then my address would be written here so right here sender secrets my handwriting are disaster let me tell you yeah but i'll try my best so this is sender's address and on sender address and then after we it should be a short address i don't want to know that which lane you are or beside whom or behind whom this is a letter writing so make sure it is short and sweet with a um, pin code at back of it that's it with a code number that's it and after that sender's address we have right here date date i believe should be written in a format of number numerical value then the month written in full spelling that is an accepted one and then the year in complete uh, number 
like 2020 month is june so it should be j-u-n-e or july j-u-l-y and september s-e-p-t-e-m-b-e-r not b-a-r guys wait make sure you know that <laughs> and here if you see the first after we are done with the address and date we move on on the left hand side this thing is known as salutation a salutation means when you write a letter now let's say if you call to a loved one right you ain't gonna call like you are not just gonna start with let's say you're gonna call your grandma you're not just gonna start with grandma i won championship today then i'm like oh yo chill chill did you eat something what are you doing how's your dad how's your mom so you have to slowly ease to the topic but first you need to tell her hi grandma i love you Similarly, so we want to tell in a letter our emotion. So I will start with the word dear, dear grandma, whatever the name is instead of grandma. Yeah, grandma, you can write grandma, but mostly I would prefer if you have a name, you use that name, right? But mostly for grandma, we might not use name. It's better to write like a dear grandma, but dear is the main starting word. So we'll start always the informal letter mostly i started with the word dear so i'll write here d e a r dear and dot dot the name it is this part is known as salutation salutation now we start with the first body and this body the first part is the introduction part this I would say B1. B1 stands for body one and here it is introduction. In introduction, I will not if let's say I have a topic, I have a heading of writing a letter to your grandma regarding being or letting her know that you are coming to India as soon as this COVID-19 is over. Let's say I want to write a letter like this to my grandmother grandmother i will not just start with it the grandma i'm coming from the next flight for you wait for it to open slowly slowly is she requires to understand sorry that you have written a letter you have to write the introduction according to the situation the the environment what's going on around right now so right now if i talk about the current situation it is a pandemic right first i will start my introduction some such a way that something like in this difficult time make sure that you are taking good care of you yourself and everyone around you please stay stay safe stay safe stay safe oh my god please stay safe stay at home right i'm just fed up of this word though let me tell you like all of us are stay home stay safe stay home stay safe like you can start with that more information about intro and all is given in my upcoming video presentation this is just the overview of it after that maybe i according to my topic i'll have body one body two body two and then i would like a short conclusion in a conclusion what happens conclusion here in this ending or more mostly moreover i'll say about an ending right here in ending we need to we cannot end abruptly we cannot end just like that we need to love we need to show love to them and people around them that's a better ending like it's just like you are receiving a phone call right and how you receive a phone call and how you put it down you just i have i had this weird person weird friend you won't even notice and would just put the receiver down and i was like hello 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 it's not the way you do right you should slowly easily put the phone down like letting know that you are putting down bye goodbye so really here you need to say like take care of grandpa take care of uncle and aunt take care of your dog or something right take care of your cats don't let them go away in the night alone right so like that we start the conclusion or see you soon in this case 
and it end here you will end with I would say I would like to write like yours truly this is family yours sincerely and then your name or name of any person that you are while writing the letter this is a pretty much a rough format of an informal letter and now in the following presentation there is a topic and I will be explaining you step by step detailed version of how to write a letter please go through it and you might want to take a paper pen with you and write alongside the way I'm explaining it would be really helpful but after that do come back I have to say something to you in a very nice place that guy is in t-shirt and all this is a nice place so do come back okay before going so stay tuned so first I'll make a balloon here so first this is the balloon right so I'll write here like this COVID-19 that is the topic of my day but then this is just not COVID-19 I have to even write that we have some any one of them your friend is suffering from anxiety stress or depression right so i'll make sure that i i can write prefix because i will understand but you guys if you want to write more you can like and depression and that you have to use the cognitive behavior therapy so all this thing together is your main aim covid 19 uh, anxiety stress of stress or depression and cognitive behavior theory while making the bunch of ideas right I can teach you anything in the world and I'm a, for myself a writer and a poet but I can never teach you what to think how to think but yeah I can only guide you that if you want to have uh, ideas sprouting out of you you need to read more you need to be connected right now because of anxiety stress and depression you have to just say for the first point that comes in my mind is that I think your friend uh, or you can say your family member friendly letter to a friend or family member so let's say if you are writing family member your uncle or an adult right so maybe the job is lost and you came to know that your job is lost right losing job is very much stressful because you don't know your future so let's say job is lost so that thing but you can say that hope is very important that after this you can give a hope you cannot give them a job can you know but you can at least give them hope that everything will be all right in this time of anxiety or depression the thing is that you lose first is the confidence so as a so what you can do is you can give them confidence you can give them back their confidence the third part that i feel about you know i can feel about writing job loss hope confidence i can say for anxiety or depressed stress what you can do is physical physical exercise physical workout you know if you do physical workout your body your body when it has physical workout because when your job is or you are at home right you don't you don't even at least your body doesn't even work that like it used to work before right then you can say physical workout we are blessed with yoga that is mind that yoga is not only good for our physical body but for our mind our soul as well so you can say yoga as hash meditation a family session is very helpful spend time with your family right play games games with you this is i would i would like to give a quote to kevin my student who has who has these two good points uh, family sessions play physical games with them if you uh, home games indoor games right read good books read good books you know and the thing that i would would, would like to add uh, like would to add is work on your skill work on your skills sharpen it you know you usually don't get time to we say i want to learn something new i want to learn to write i want to learn to read but we never get time today the world has given us time to do whatever we want so why don't we use it for some good thing right as you can see some some of you might have difficulty in finding points 
but more you can think you i'm not saying you to stick to this point this is a suggestion right but more you think you guys you can come out with n number of points but always remember that i you have to stick with the balloon what's in the center that is covid 19 related anxiety stress and depression and the cognitive behavior therapy how this cognitive behavior therapy can help you out right from it maybe i'm not sure about the cognitive behavior i haven't gone through research about it much uh, guys so maybe when my points some of my points are not related to cognitive behavior therapy but i i'm writing generally i would press you that your points should be related to cognitive behavior therapy so this is pretty much of my balloon and now we will jump on we'll go through it you know now you know you, you can even like what is main important thing right i would say that my first introduction i would really start with a hope to them then i will go to the confidence then i can say that maybe third part where your job is lost i can understand but then you can say that you know i can again like hope and confidence any one i can give it them then i can take them to i want to give first show my point the strongest point that i would lo learn is yoga and meditation then i would use kevin's point family say because i think that's more about cognitive behavior as kevin has learned about them by 6 and then physical workout 7 uh, and reading good books 8 like you can even keep it at nine, like working on your skills is very important though but i would like to play it in center i would like to conclude with reading a good book or maybe i can conclude with any one of them right so it's not always necessary whatever idea springs up is the first idea it according to covid 19 according to a topic which is the first thing okay now we will jump to the letter so now finally i have written the letter the one that we were talking about the one's the question i have written in my way so i want to teach you guys that uh, maybe this letter is not perfect as you will see in some time that this is my demo letter that i wrote yesterday night okay you can see many scribbles here many rough work here and then after doing this while i was copying and writing my uh, fair letter here still while writing and copying itself i recheck my work here in the letter while writing copying itself i found so many mistakes still while doing again rechecking i found my mistake i in my busy schedule i was able to write this i don't know how much you will like this letter i was able to write it in mere 5 to 10 minutes why because the first thing is the mo for most thing that no teacher can ever teach you is you have to write it with your heart whole heartedly so i've written but i have i have give, written my heart out what i would have written my sister kavya would have been in a hospital as a doctor so now moving on uh, to our letter example if we see here clearly that uh, so this was my our uh, balloon that we made in last session as you guys can see that i have made some changes that what did i do while writing a letter here it was like i've written about job lost or something but here what i have written is that uh, i have mentioned that uh, um, that she is working as a doctor i have a sister named kavya and i'm writing her letter because as she is working as a doctor in the front field and their work right now is very stressful you know they can see that all around them so i have written something about them this is my rough copy i want to show you how messy it is how much corrections that i had to make to get a best out of it you know some points i wrote it here i even mentioned you guys to write hope and confidence at beginning but you might be surprised even i was surprised that i used those things at the end as my uh, as a conclusion so this is the perfect copy uh, copy and i will read what to word the sender's address and date what you feel like dear kavya as you can say i have done some correction here as well so every time you read you will always find a thing to correct yourself always have this time to correct work on your thing dear kavya wish you all the best of mental and physical health at time of this historical disaster i am constantly worried about your well being and your job as a doctor makes you most vulnerable to this virus 
may god protect you all the time today i was discussing in my virtual class so the above paragraph is a salutation i have uh, always mentioned that this is the best time to write a salutation regarding covid 19 i don't think any time else i always found it difficult like what to write maybe good health maybe wish you all maybe related to festival but for the first time you know we can write something about a natural disaster like a historical disaster by the way uh, nobody will write ever our children i hope none of them write about covid 19 ever they always write about the spring break like i always used to give you guys remember uh, invite your friend for spring break invite your friend for that break i hope they all write like this only none of them write this letter ever so this was the introduction then it is today i was discussing in my virtual class about the mental condition of medical workers due to the current situation my teacher briefed me about the horrors that you medical workers are going through recently i can only imagine what a kind and soft-hearted person like you might be feeling while seeing such helpless patients suffering in front of you as you can see there are some grammatical errors as well of the tenses right you i have left this deliberately so you guys can work on it reread it and find your mistakes even my mistakes i don't mind therefore the third para as a good brother it is my duty to teach you some techniques that i learned in my cognitive behavior therapy sessions which might really help you to relieve yourself from anxiety stress and depression so i've used the part of the question in an introduction about i'm going to start my body now i started already the body of the letter so here as you can see that i have used those um, a topic that I was given about cognitive behavior therapy, I've mentioned it and I've even mentioned some problems related to it. And now I will start giving the remedies. So I've mentioned about it in my third paragraph. First and foremost, give some time for physical exercise like yoga every day. I miss our grandma teaching us yoga and meditation while we were kids. Remember how we used to enjoy that sessions and meditation would boost up our concentration and willpower. Moreover, physical activities keep you healthy and fit. Now, as mentioned in the question that you have to be personal in the letter. This is an informal letter, not a formal one. So while writing about it, I took examples from my past where my grandma used to teach us all together the yoga. So this might soothe them even it as a writing part. It emphasizes that that it gives a good emphasis that you are writing an informal letter where you are giving examples from the past because surely you know them very well you have some memories in your past shared with them so you have to write about those memories and you have to include them like whenever we meet right i always remember you guys like we we share about something between you uh, like us you know we did some mischief last year or something funny happened to us we always share that, isn't it? So while writing letter as well, you need to share that informal only, by the way. Wherever you get free, whenever you get free, spend some quality time with your family. I'm pretty sure uncle and aunt are always worried about you. They love you so much. Appreciate them by playing some indoor games like chess and carom with your sister. Let the COVID-19 know that it has only done good for us as to bring all of us loved ones together. Having some good memories works as Patronus at time of depression attack. This is a um, chunk taken from uh, Harry Potter. As you guys know, uh, J.K. Rowling said in an interview that Dementors were a symbolism of her depression. She was suffering from depression and anxiety before writing the Harry Potter book. So the Dementors represented depression in our day-to-day -day life and Patronus were happy memories that uh, you that she always found to be helpful at time whenever she used to have depression attack so to pay homage to her i added this in the line you can be creative creativity has no boundary and creativity can never be taught the more you read i use the example of jk rowling because i read all her books so the more you will read the more you will be interested interest is something that you have to bring on your own at last, do remember that none of us asked to be in this situation. This tough time will pass away and good times will return. Like spring blossoms after the dead winter. 
you have proved yourself as a warrior by doing your duty as a doctor and a good as a good doctor always remember the healthier you are the happier are your loved ones give my regards to uncle and aunt love to dear jia yours truly manush conclusion is where i want you guys to pay attention in the conclusion part see so i used the hope and that uh, in the last one to give her hope and while while ending the letter she should be full of emotion that a brother far away from her has written some good thought about her to give her a boost up and i have written i have ended with a small quote like thingy always remember the healthier you are happier are your loved ones some quote like and at the end the the goodbye salutation is like a mandatory give my regards to uncle har we always usually do this while we are on phone as well right when we are fo- on phone call with someone in india we always say goodbye badani yaad aap jo something like that yours truly manush you guys can any time pause this video right i th- hope that is very clear to you i hope my letter was i know it's not a perfect one but i hope it has helped you how i want you guys to write so guys i hope this presentation was useful and helpful to you and you understand a little bit about how to write a letter the informal one and with that i would like to say goodbye and thank you i know this is not perfect there are so many mistakes let me know for any suggestion in the comment section below but you know what nobody is perfect but we all can try to reach the perfection that's what makes us best but when i started this channel i thought that i thought to myself that i will never ask for like or subscribe or sharing on my channel but the way i'm seeing my students from canada from india are encouraging me working so hard to make this presentation possible for them please like share and subscribe as you can let us know if we can improve how we can improve a special shout out to my students nalgia her all the students across in canada and india who are helping me day and night and encouraging me to make such videos thank you goodbye